So you're a producer and you're thinking to yourself, should I get that new U87 mic? Do I need an SSL console? Do I need to save up money to book at an expensive studio? The answer is, it depends. Because I'm a fair and balanced kind of guy, I first wanted to go over the arguments in favor of buying expensive gear. The first reason, if I'm being real, is just to give yourself a confidence boost. If you got the money to do it, there's nothing wrong with getting yourself something nice for Christmas or your birthday. If you got it like that and you're in a little bit of a slump, buy yourself some nice gear. Go ahead. Now the most valid reason why I would tell someone to get some expensive gear is if they one, have the money and two, this is what I always tell people. With expensive gear a lot of the time, you just are able to get to the finish line faster. What got me really thinking this way was the time that I was in Los Angeles at Paramount Recording Studios. This is where a little pump records, 10K records. And here I am at a late night session, engineer's tired, wants me to take over. And so as anyone would, I take over. As I'm recording the artist, I usually like to do a little rough mix of the vocal just to kind of make them sound good. But what I realized is that I only had to put like two plugins on there to make it sound really good. Blew my mind because this had never happened. I'm usually, you know, putting EQ, de compressor, maybe multiband kind of thing, having to go in and clean up little things because of room noise, all sorts of things, but it already sounded dope. And so that's one thing that good gear can really get you. But I will say something else besides the gear that affected that situation was the room, which in my opinion is almost more important than the gear. I would rather have an acoustically treated room with a $200 mic than a really terrible room that just sounds boomy and bad with a Sony C800. Just my personal opinion. The last reason I would tell you why to get expensive gear is if you are really going for that top three to top 5% sound. It is true that sometimes with Sony C800 going through a two tech and acoustically treated room, you might get, you know, two to 5% better than if you had had, let's say like a blue microphone, like a $200 microphone or something. You know, nine times out of 10, I would say the average listener doesn't really care. But if you're one of those people that just wants to create the highest possible product, then by all means, go for it. You know, more power to you. Now that we've established some reasons that you might wanna get some expensive gear, I'm gonna be going over the reasons why you wouldn't wanna get some expensive gear. The first reason is probably the most obvious and something that you feel right now, and that is price. Some of these microphones out there, like the Sony C800, the U87, mainly reference mic, can get almost to be like $10,000. So unless you inherited some money or got an oil field job or just booming like that, then it's probably not the solution for you. The second reason I would tell you not to waste your time on expensive gear is because there's only a marginal quality difference. It used to be back in the day, 70s and 80s, you'd have to go to a professional recording studio, pay the day rate, pay the engineer, you know, all these other steps just to get that industry sound. But technology has come such a long way that you can get a million dollar sound out of a hundred dollar microphone. The key is if you know what you're doing and if the artist actually sounds good. So now that we have the arguments against expensive gear and for expensive gear, Here's my personal opinion on it. If you don't have the money for expensive gear or would have to save up for a long time to afford it, I would not do it. You're gonna get way further and make way better music if you just focus on the music. What's the core idea? Are the takes with the artist good? Is my sound selection good? Focusing on these things is gonna be way more important than expensive gear. And the cool thing is that if you ever do get expensive gear and you've already attacked these questions, it's gonna sound that much better. Now I'm not saying be crazy and go get the cheapest gear out there like an Xbox headphone mic or something. It's kind of funny because one time this dude actually paid me to record a vocal that he recorded on his Xbox headset. I'm definitely not saying that, but what I am saying is that you don't have to spend thousands of dollars on gear to get an industry level sound. I used to have all this gear like an Apogee Symphony, dangerous AD conversion, all this just unnecessary stuff. And I've simplified all of this down to just my TLM 103 and my red focus right interface with two outputs. And during this, I've been able to produce and record songs that have got millions of streams on Spotify. So friend to friend, next time you're thinking about getting that expensive piece of gear, ask yourself, is this just me trying to avoid doing the work necessary to make my music actually better? I don't know, that's for you to answer. Appreciate you watching this video today. Hopefully it gave you some perspective on the whole gear debate. For more music related content, make sure to smash the subscribe button and the like button. I'm trying to reach 100 subs right now. This would really help me out. But if not, it's all good. I completely understand. I'm gonna make videos regardless because I'm just having fun out here. Yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Hope you're having a good one and go make some dope music.